What is going on, everybody? We are here. Brand new series. First ever Amazon show. Invincible. Um, this was the show that I just wanted to do once we finished up Squid Games, once we finished up Parasite. I wasn't going to take a vote or a poll or anything. I was just kind of, I was like, dang, what am, let me pick something that I'm in the mood for. And I've always wanted to watch this, but it's one of those that, like, I've seen a lot of people enjoy and I knew that, like, there's no way I can just watch this on my own without reacting to it. So when can I get a chance to put it on the channel? And damn it, I just said we're just going to put it on the channel. So once we finish up this, um, which I think is eight episodes, we do one a week. Should be finished by... We might do two a week, kind of depending, because right now it's only One Piece, Demon, and this. So maybe we'll crank out two a week. Especially with the holiday, with Christmas coming up next, we'll have some more downtime to probably... So we'll probably should be finished within a month, month and a half. Um... I've no, I've, I haven't watched any reactions on it, but I know people love it. The IMBD score, I think, is like over eight, so that's always good to see. Um, and I've just always, I just see the views and stuff are crazy, so it's got to be some kind of good. Um, to my knowledge, it is, you guys can correct me, if you know more than just the TV show, it's 100% based off of its comic counterpoint, or is it based, like, inspired by, or is it literally like, version like comic one episode one like is it straight parallel crossover or some things changed i don't know and i have no idea what this world is what the story is about i think i mean i haven't been spoiled on anything but i've seen kind of uh, which i'm guessing that's that's his dad i've seen that meme and that still shot of him like pointing at his head and like all this so i've seen that I don't know if they work together or opposing one another. Is it kind of like a, is it an X-Men, my hero type world where kind of like an Incredibles cartoon movie where it's just a world of heroes and that's kind of what you grow up as. Like if your families are heroes and you have the ability, like does everybody in the world have an ability? Are there haves and have nots? I have no idea what the story is based around. But this is just something I wanted to watch for a little bit, so we're just going to go ahead and jump on into it now. You see here, the video is pretty clear compared to what I usually put it out. I usually dial it down to like 20 or 30. I have it at like 65, 70 now, so you guys should be able to pretty much see a decent amount. And we're going to go with audio, so it looks like they're about 45-minute episodes. Um, I'm going to chop them up, so we're not going to do 45 minutes straight. Um, it'll be have to be condensed down to that like 10, 12-minute format with audio. And if we can get away with this here with audio... For eight episodes, we'll keep it going. If by episode two, or when you're watching this reaction, I had to put a huge black screen over this, you know YouTube wasn't having it. Um, you guys that have watched some of your favorite reactors and stuff like that, let me know how... I've never done an Amazon thing, so I don't know how their copyright stuff is. Um, you guys can fill me in on that type of stuff. But besides that, go ahead and get into it. I'm doing this Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, mor or Tuesday night, Wednesday morning at 2 a.m. I don't know if I'll have this up Wednesday, later in the day, or Thursday, regardless, you're seeing it when you're seeing it. So we're going to drag this over here. I'm going to put the subtitles on so it might be easier for you guys to follow kind of where I'm at over here. Um, let's go ahead and do it. Invincible episode one titled, It's About Time, pressing play right now. I was like, what am I supposed to do? I'm just a police chief. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do when Superman and shit shows up? Oh shit, it's Wonder Woman. And the Green Lantern. And Mr. Fantastic. And Silver Surfer. <laughs> and it also looks like the old like Batman cartoon animation as well. Black Knight. Just threw her ass to the moon. Oh, those were his hydraulics holding that up. Is he supposed to be like... Superman of this universe? Is he All Might? Why does everybody like not like him? What? Everyone looks like they don't like his ass. Hey yo! He just threw that shit to the moon. Is he good to go? What happens if it wouldn't have kicked in? Like if he if he got to 18 and it didn't kick in, is that it? Can you be a late bloomer and get it in your 20s, 30s, 40s ever? 
why does his dad not look supportive of that? Did he not? Does he not want his son falling down the same path? Is it some type of thing where like, as son gets stronger, dad gets weaker? Like, he's the sole protector of Earth from a planet of Super Saiyans that go out and protect the galaxy. Someone's gonna have to get up there and save his ass. Oh, he's just floating into the into deep space. Like into the abyss and shit. Oh. Maybe if he goes unconscious he'll start falling. Yeah. Better wake up like Iron Man. Come on. It's pretty dope because usually people that like do something midair can't pivot midair. But because they can. Crack. Sternum shattered. I don't know if it's the way they're animating his dad. But the... L Something about him seems evil. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Almost got their phone out and shit. I mean, you can't hit him now because you couldn't beat him when you were weak. So why should you beat him when you're strong? Nah, because you'd kill him now. It's like I didn't. It's like when Peter Parker's like, I didn't play sports when I didn't have the power. So why should I play them now? Oh shit! They're playing catch around the world. Good God, that's pretty dope. I like it. That's actually I'm from the Bahamas. That's the flag of the Bahamas colors right there. That turquoise for the water, black for the people, yellow for the sun. Probably not going to include any of this part audio-wise for the song. He can't fly. So what's happening here? They've been alerted that there's another superhuman on the planet? Or... I'm curious what this meeting is about. What the hell's going on here? Told you I don't know what up this fuck his dad is up to. Oh, we're just hitting him with that straight uh mountain Ober and Martel shit. He's dead. What chance do they have now? What is up with him? I don't know. I mean, this is the best part of the entire 40 minute, 45 minute episode. <laughs> Dead. What the hell is going on? I mean, they can't keep up. They lost the best advantage they had with the speed. He's about to go cra- yeah, he's about to go crazy with that thing. One of them has to survive this, right? One of them does? At least they can make him bleed. He's not completely invincible, but like, they're just over here slapping. Are they really putting him down? Dead. Good God! 
I told you something did not seem right about that, man. Because I had to. What was that about, buddy? Cut. Yep. Uh... <laughs> so that's essentially all the questions I had. Was stemming... Because you know, we got introduced to a lot of things. We found out backstory about his dad. You know, he comes from pretty much a superhuman planet that when they become of age, one of them will go to any kind of planet that either they pick or get uh, chosen to go to. And basically, they're that. it looks like they're that planet savior, that planet Superman, whatever you want to label them as, that planet's protector. Um, but now I am also curious as to, like, what's going on on Earth? Like, it's given me very, like, My Hero Academia, Incredibles... Uh, X-Men vibes were like, oh, he's not the only super person. Like, you saw the Guardians of the World or whatever they're called there. Like, do they all migrate from outer planets to help protect? They come from the Earth? These villains, are they just humans? Those blue twins? Like, where do, where are all these pretty much inhuman people coming from? From Earth? Except, is he the only one not of Earth? You know, that's a question I have. And with that, can if I just get abilities, am I just allowed to be a vigilante as I see fit? I don't need to, like My Hero Academia, I don't need to apply to be a pro hero or have my own agency or have a professional license that allows me to do what I do. If I have abilities and I feel like using them for good, the world is thankful because I could have use my abilities for bad. There's nobody I answer to. There's no hierarchy of like, hey, just because I have abilities doesn't mean I can or can't. Those are pretty much all my questions stem around. Throw that to the window because that last <laughs> five or ten minutes right there, something seemed off about his dad from the very, very opening scene when he would show up and I was thinking like, oh, that's the, the Superman of this world. You know, that's Goku. That's All Might. Um, but like, why did nobody say, you know, oh, thanks for helping us, Omni Man, or Omni Man's here, or like, oh, we can't lose with him. Like, he would show up, and like, nobody said a word to him. So, like, do they have prior history of bad blood? And he was like, oh shit, my son can't find out about this, so he had to get rid of them. Like, what's going on here? And like, even some of them, even if they didn't acknowledge him when he had originally showed up, uh, they at least said when they got called, like, oh, he wouldn't do this. He must be being controlled. Is he or is he not? Even though they didn't acknowledge him when he came to help them at the beginning of the episode, they still gave him the benefit of the doubt there at the end, like, oh, this isn't him. He's being controlled. Is that true or is that not? I have absolutely no idea. Um, so if he's being controlled, there's that storyline to go down to. If he's not being controlled, why? <laughs> um, he doesn't look completely destructible, indestructible because I mean we see him bleeding and cuts and gashes he's not insta healing like Wolverine or undamageable like All Might or some wild shit like that so he can be weakened I would suspect killed but I mean that's Superman going against the Justice League right there like they just really don't stand a chance so the question boils down to of like that last five minutes is why I thought they were meeting because I was curious, like, who calls them? Um, do they need to be aware of, like, hey, there's another super person out there, so, you know, help him out. We need to be aware of him, keep tabs on him, that he doesn't spawn to be evil. But no, Omni-Man called it, slaughtered them for what is the question of the day. Because um, we saw him get a little triggered as well, like... His mom kicked him under the table, kicked the father under the table, like, hey, congratulate him. Or he's like, you're not ready. I am ready. I wasn't expecting this. Like, what is he so afraid of with his son, number one? Does he, does he not want this life for his son? And then why kill all those other heroes, guardians of the world, um, number two? 
is it a, like we don't like he told us the background of like where he comes from in the planet but is there more to that do we think we're just supposed to believe that oh you're here to protect or like is there ulterior motives um is it some kind of i don't know how many of you guys have seen it but is it some type of like um American Horror Story coven type thing where like we have one supreme witch or whatever but like another supreme witch will come but like when the new chosen one begins to rise the stronger supreme falls until the powers you know completely shift is that's what happening here like if one of these super humans that go off to a planet and inhabit it and choose to be that protector if you father or birth a child when that child gets the abilities, you eventually will. I, I don't know. So many questions. I'm sure a lot will be answered through seven episodes. And I had been told that this was pretty graphic, but I didn't know, like, in what way. <laughs> Not even that graphic, it's just, like, how much of, like, you don't really see that much blood. Especially in superhero things, like, they don't really go that deep. Um, even in rated R superhero movies, I guess you could, like, go with Deadpool being kind of, like, the most graphic, um... But some straight, just mountain crushing head type shit, clearing head, clean off. Like they're all done. So now we've got to find out. You know, like I said, are there natural humans on the planet that just have abilities, or do they all migrate in? Um, that's number one. Is there a hierarchy of some kind of superhero organization I need to answer to? It's like I have abilities. I can be good. I can be bad. The world just better be ready. Is his dad being controlled? Is he not? Why did the heroes even originally not even look to even acknowledge him in the beginning? Um, and if he's not being controlled, why did he do that? Wow. That whole... How long of a sequence of just a murder spree was that? Up to... It started at 42 and a half and went until 46 and a half. So damn near five minutes wow wild wild stuff i enjoyed it seven episodes to go um probably check back later this weekend or next week for episode two and we'll see how it goes from there i appreciate it everybody if you're seeing this that means we didn't get anything copyrighted if not we'll go from there like share fear subscribe and as always